Our next patient tonight is A&E auditionee Robert Sutcliffe. A wannabe starlet with a weird wound. Robert's been brought to Bradford Royal Infirmary by wife Jules after stabbing himself in the leg with a carving knife. He's plunged the blade in with so much force that it came out the other side. I'll probably get a, an award for the most uh, stupid man on the planet, but... Ah, <laughs> oh, don't be too hard on yourself, Robert. Not many people can claim to have single-handedly invented a new sport. Extreme karaoke. The night before, having stayed in to watch X Factor, Robert popped to the kitchen to collect a freshly baked pizza. Mmm, pizza. Having sliced it up, he was about to come back when he heard his favourite song coming on. Ooh. Diamonds are forever. Robert needed a mic and grabbed the closest thing to hand, a 10-inch carving knife. Dancing enthusiastically, his razor-sharp rendition came to an abrupt end as he sank the blade into his leg. Oh, no. First up to judge Robert's X-Factor folly is senior nurse practitioner Simon Besford. Right, go on, what's happened? Right, I was watching <laughs> X-Factor, <and> yeah. <laughs> Picked up a knife and I used a my knife as a microphone and how I was dancing with my hands like that and accidentally stu stuck a knife in my, in my leg. I think you to the dog. Yeah. I do it all time. <laughs> yeah. All the... Ah! <gasps> oh, sorry, love. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> OK, what I'd like you to do is just pop down at it. It might all sound like a bit of a daft disaster, but a stab wound from a 10-inch knife is a major injury. Simon needs to inspect the gash sharpish. You're a fair old whack, aren't you? Yeah. Robert's entry and exit wound is certainly impressing this judge. Turned around there. Yeah. Turned around there. Yeah. All that just messing about, <laughs> you know, dancing and acting Absolutely. stupid. The area's really painful, and given the depth of it, Simon's concerned that Robert may have damaged the nerves, which can lead to loss of function or sensation in the leg, or, worse still, hit a vessel that supplies blood to the rest of the limb. Sorry, you've got quite a hematoma, which is what we call a massive accumulation of blood just around here. You can feel it probably caught one of the vessels that actually feeds that muscle right. out here, which is why you've got this spurting. Yeah. If a vessel or artery is damaged, Robert would need immediate surgery. Simon calls in A&E specialist Dr. Ragu Nathan for a closer look. Hi. Up. Hello. Just check your pulse to begin with. A weak pulse below the wound could indicate Robert is bleeding out of a damaged blood vessel. It, it is a serious injury because the worst scenario can be if you're unlucky and if it's a large vessel, it, it needs treatment straight away. Otherwise, he may bleed to death. Or if he cuts a nerve, then it is dangerous. Okay. Robert's been incredibly lucky and managed to miss any of the vital arteries. I think what has happened is you have just damaged some muscle fibres. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll put a good dressing on that, put you on some good antibiotic, right. and then we'll see how it is getting on. Lovely. Yeah. Thanks. But before he can leave... Right, I just want to give it a little clean. There's a small matter of cleaning out his agonising wound. Ooh. The build-up of hardened blood in Robert's thigh has made it incredibly tender. If he'd have come to A&E last night, straight after stabbing himself, rather than waiting until today, he could have avoided all this agony. If you want to be famous, this is the advice you got to pay. No pain, no gain. Yeah. I think I'd rather not work. I'm going to adult knives when I get home, I'm going to tell you. Once clean, Nurse Simon can apply an antiseptic strip and bandage up the leg before dishing out one last bit of advice. What strictly come dancing instead? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a bit uh, the slower. <laughs> Robert might not be heading to boot camp, but he'll need a bit of help to take the weight off his feet. Just your hands in there and then I'll see. He's packed off with crutches, some antibiotics to combat pizza-based infection, and strict instructions to knock extreme karaoke on the head. Thanks a lot, love. But Bradford's latest reality star is going to have to learn to live with his newfound celebrity. You got the X Factor! <laughs> Very funny. With the adoration of his public ringing in his ears, but having received the lowest number of votes, Robert's heading home.
and quicker than you can say sea biscuit, Anne's got a shiny new shoulder joint. Directly below the ladder lay this row of razor-sharp metal railings. 